looking at the, the traditional whip type of dashboard, uh, you know, again, whatever you, information you may want to see here, um, you know, profit is certainly important to us. Uh, uh, I like to know what's been billed as of the date um, I'm looking at this. And these are things that I'll, I'll pop up in the morning, take a look at, and then um, may or may not need to drill down into any more information because it's sort of a snapshot uh, view, idea of what, you know, what future cash flow you have from the projects that are on your whip right now. Um, you know, your top 10 projects uh, ranked by profitability. Again, may or may not be interesting to you, but uh, uh, certainly does give you a picture of where, uh, where your most profitable jobs are uh, at present. And then this whip has your typical uh, types of things on it that you would have on a whip. There's a few things here that are a little uh, different. We, we certainly, like everybody, look at the under over billings. Um, you know, we do uh, work harder with our project managers to uh, try to overbill our jobs as much as possible, um, given the, the slow pay times and 10% retention that seems to be pretty typical across most projects these days. Um, but we also look at um, um, things like the uh, job borrowing for the jobs where you do have over, bill over billings. Um, you know, that's probably not on a lot of people's whips, but it's something that's uh, we're keeping an eye on, on uh, retention uh, and so forth. So, um, you know, that's a good, uh, a good report. And it does give us the, the ability to, we, on a monthly basis, uh, have each project manager do a cost of completion uh, for each job.